everybody, welcome back to another uh, episode of the Unturned Podcast. I'm your host, Gooey Jaws, and we're joined once again by Trining Games. <laughs> Stas Wally. Huh? Diliano. Oh. Yo. <laughs> and we have a special guest today, Renaxon. Hello. Now, now Renaxon, um, you're a bit of a silly guy. You're a bit of a silly guy. This is stupid, you... Charlie. This is stupid. <laughs> What do you mean that's stupid? Here. Let me, let me, okay, here. Let me go with the first question. It's been a while since I've been here. For next uh-huh. time. Mm-hmm. What is your favorite color? Uh, I would have to go with purple. Purple? Purple? Yeah. But what's why the, is what's that? The weather like the <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. It's just my favorite color, you know? There's no explanation for it. There's is no there, reason like, why you like it. Is there any memory that was positive with the color purple? Uh, no. <laughs> who, who just played that? Huh? That was for the microphone. Huh? That was fast radio. Can we just come on, guys? I I am going. I I don't know what's your deal. Okay. I hate you. Oh, all. Yeah, wait, Stas. What do you think? Or no, not Stas. Ren. I'm not yeah. the guest today. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think of uh, to the podcast? What do you think of big boobs? The cat. 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 Let's specify that. Anyone? Um, anyone who? I'm. I'm. I'm not aware of of that. Really. Of the cat. Yeah. Really. I've never seen. Really. That. Really. really. Yeah, you. Uh, you have a chance. A you could check in that the, the chat below. Obviously, audience can't do that because they can't see our oh. chat. The Just audience can yeah, also check know. the chat below. People know. You, okay. you, you know what it is. By the way, this is the Gunturn Podcast. All right, let's start with an actual question. Right <laughs> I wasn't that good. Yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't. Should, yeah, You're asking him what color it is, yeah, bro. Should. Like, what color he likes. Like, what, what is that, bro? What is that? that? We're learning I mean, it's more. an important question. Shut what up. Your, stop stop participating in this stupid crap. Redaxon. Okay, I'm, mu- okay I'm, muting, I'm muting Charlie. He okay, Redaxon. When did you start playing on turn? Okay, anyway. Um, Redaxon. Uh, I think I started you... playing it when, you know, I mean, pretty much like everybody when like 2.0 was booming, you know? So you, you were playing on 2.0. Were you yeah, playing with IRL I... friends or were you playing with just like by yourself? Uh, I was playing by myself. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, not many by, people yeah. were... Because uh, not many of my friends were gamers, you know. It's funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, the reason why I say yes is because I feel like I feel like Renaxon would just play on turn by himself. Because to be fair, I did the same thing back in the day. I was the only person that had a PC. Everyone around me had like consoles because they're all weird. Um, so nobody, nobody uh, that I knew in real life could even play this game, and they were gamers themselves. So I want. Yeah, I to ask for the longest time, I also like. Was the only one with the PC. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I think I have something like 100 hours on 2.0 though. Ooh, that's pretty good. What'd you say was like very fun about 2.0 that isn't really like concurrent and unturned 3.0 right now? Uh, exploration and not having like a map. Like, yeah. That's, uh, that's a How do you feel about the crafting in 2.0? Uh, I mean, everybody knows it was terrible. It's large part like why Nelson made three point you know, to improve it's that. It's interesting. It's interesting because I feel like it had that same kind of um, spark uh, when it came to learning the crafting recipe, similar to the older Minecrafts where you kind of had to remember the crafting recipes. Recipes. I mean, <laughs> I, like you had to learn them, but also I believe there was a lot of just like uh, goofy items that had no like real reason to exist except for the crafting being goofy and limited like all those wooden frames and whatever oh yeah that that was i mean that was pinnacle of annoyance yeah Uh, (laughs) good times dude i love crafting wooden frames so ren yes what was your like what was your pinky in the like your pinky or toe in the pawn moment for modding Uh, wait what is pinky and pawn moment i'm sorry like what did you like When did you uh, dip your toe in the pond when it comes to modding? Like, when did you first uh, start? Yeah. Uh, whew. That's actually a hard question. This is where, where I would need to ask someone else, because, like... What? Or, like, when... <laughs> I mean, well, okay, just recall from, like, your... <laughs> yeah, because you didn't want to put Dana be on this this podcast, you know? Yeah, just, just recall, like, uh, your earliest memory, I guess. That's, I don't like, remember. You, you don't remember what? your first time modding? Probably sometime after Washington, that's for sure. 
No, I like, but what'd you do? Did you make what'd you do? Uh, I was first modeling guns in SketchUp, uh, mm -hmm. if you know that program, program for like designing architecture, or whatever. Awesome. It's it's not very good for Dude, modeling on stuff. I stuff. hate SketchUp, dog. Mm. Honestly, are oh you still God, using SketchUp? Hate. If you if you want to know like full story, actually, I reached out to Valspring on Reddit. Uh, Valspring is one of the co-creators of France. I sent him like a Reddit DM, and that was, you know what? I actually I could track when exactly that was, but probably like 2017 or like 18. I believe like 17. Okay. That's, uh, that's, a, that's a while ago. That was during the, the age of annoyance. Um, so. <laughs> yeah, so at that point I like wasn't doing much yet. I was like modeling goofy guns in SketchUp. I reached out to him to like actually put them in game because I had no idea how to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, that would, that would be the start. Did he take all the money? What? No, come on. Okay, okay. Uh, here's, here's a follow up question. Um, what inspired you to make, to make stuff? Mm, being annoyed with the game, to be honest. And what do you uh, mean by that? Like, uh, who, like being annoyed at the weapon balancing, for example. Like, it's just like this urge you want to make something, something new that has, you know, maybe, maybe some, some better balancing, some of your own ideas. Uh, yeah, basically so that I would say. So that was the reason why you wanted to make gun models in the first place, because you wanted to just remedy yeah. some of the problems that exist with Unturned's weapon system. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. So do you think, what do you think about, I guess right now, because I know there's a bunch of balances that's happened recently with weapons. How do you feel about the current weapons right now? Do you feel like they're kind of the same as they've uh, always been, or do you feel like there's... I mean, been they are same, like, they're same as they've been for multiple years now. And like there, people talk about recent recoil changes, but nothing has changed except a bit of visual recoil. And visual recoil, okay, as you might imagine, is purely end. visual. Have you played? Have you played with the blunt force? Any shotgun in ba uh, base vanilla unturned? Yeah. Basically, you can't even use them in third person anymore if they're like eight feet away. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't use shotguns in third person because I did not play vanilla unturned in a while now. Uh, well, I did play Arid recently, but not not vanilla. <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of the a lot. Of, I was actually, but I do imagine that the spread, the double of the spread in third person makes them to be quite unusable. Yeah, it's, it's the, the weapons have become kind of like the niches that people used to use weapons in have become kind of um a little bit more weird. Yeah, I, I mean, as a whole, unturned weapons hasn't really changed a lot for a long time. But there is there is slight changes that are kind of interesting. Even recently, there was some um, some minor changes that Nelson was implementing and seeing the testing the waters in recently. And I'm kind of interested to see what people are gonna do. I'm still very annoyed because my my warning became fruition, and um, I don't know. Okay, Wait, back what to, kind of what kind of small changes are you referring to? I think he made it so that the recoil changes were basically base right now, and they're not able to be changed. Like some recoil changes, if I remember correctly. I might not be, I may be misreading something, but it was like small, um, variables that you can't change. Like, it's not super crazy, but it's not super, like, um, minuscule. Wait, is, th is that like a change that's already in the game? Or, I believe it's I'm already, well, I mean, it's already base. Like, that's already a thing. I'm, a, I'm not aware of anything like that. It, it's like, it happened, uh, recent update. But it's, it's uh. very minuscule, and it's like, it's like, it's just small variables being changed that could, that could be changed punch, or not right? be changed, basically. That's that's basically what he's doing. I, I don't know. It's, hard, it's kind of a little bit slight to explain. Are you on about the view punch exactly update? What... Hmm? Every... Are you on about, like, the view punch update where it made all the view models, like, really springy and stuff? No, 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 no. Oh, really? No. I have no idea what you're on about. I, I need to reread it. Maybe I misread something. But it's, it's the recent update. Okay. Back to Renaxon. So, Ren, what was the first actual project that became, like, um... Something that you were proud of, like something that you were very proud of. What was the first project? Mm, the first project that I was fr proud of, that would probably be like the first major project uh, project that I was part of, which would be France, which I was proud of at the time. Uh, 
Well, okay, I, I want to ask about this because I didn't really know if it was going to be France or something earlier because, I, again, this is very interesting. But France is always some, something to me, um, which I think that you had a major play in people liking that map. <laughs> mm, I wouldn't say major. I'm sorry, but, that's uh, just the case for me, but I had some people uh, mm, point at some of the stuff that you made. I think I think it's worth like uh, explaining what I did on France, and most of it was gun models mm-hmm. and uh, clothing, and uh, I was responsible for like the idea and most of the models on like the Rula location, which was the silly little underwater bunker with laser guns, mm-hmm. and uh, I yeah, think- I think. Um. Yeah. Go on. You you made the flamethrower, correct? Mm, no, flamethrower was t- completely like Van Spring's invention. Those valves, because the the, yeah. the things that are being that be brought up when it comes to France as a whole is literally laser weapons, flamethrower, and that's literally like the two synonymous things that are kind of with France. When people ask, when I ask people, why do you like France? They literally pointed like these two things, which is kind of interesting to think about. Because again, you were. I knew that you were responsible for the laser weapons. And I think that yeah. was, uh, I mean, it was kind of interesting um, for the time because there really wasn't anything being really new at the time being really released besides like um, people were just kind of feeling out mapping still. I don't know. I can't really, I can't really talk about that to a certain degree. Yeah. I'm not the, really a mapper, but you know, the idea with France was to more or less just create like a Russia too, you know? Yeah. I, I, the I, the I, idea was not to deviate. There was a, I want to say, very peculiar mindset at the time that like, uh, all maps should be more or less like the vanilla maps, uh, which was kind of like, mm, I want to say, put on uh, just like by you know major people in the community. Uh, at the time, was this like a, a normal sentiment at a time between the mapping community? Like everyone agreed that it should be similar to the vanilla maps. Uh, yeah, that's very interesting. Okay, like I'm not sure how much Nelson himself had like uh, say to that, but like, twelve uh, uh, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, but yeah. Uh, okay. No, that's interesting. So. So, do you look back at France and the people that were involved with the France, uh, France project fondly, or do you have a different perspective on France as a whole when it comes to development? Mm. Wait, could you repeat that? I'm sorry. Do you look back fondly on France's development, like, good or bad? Uh, I said fondly. Uh, I mean, from the perspective, like, of now, I... I can say that, like, there was a lot of things that could have been done better, and, like, you know, obviously, if people were more competent, it could be done with, like, three people maximum instead of uh, five, sort of, six. Uh, yeah. Do you still talk to people that developed the uh, France? Or no? uh, I lost contact uh, with all of them but Valspring, really. Valspring, I talk to every now and then. That's interesting. Okay, so after France, what was the next project that you moved over to? Uh, who? Uh, I'm not sure. Wait, what released first, Canyon or in our France? I believe mm. Canyon was before France. Yeah. Okay. So actually, I guess Canyon Arena would be like the first curated thing I I dipped my toes into. But uh, after France, there was Dango, I believe. Uh, which was sort of just like thing I helped with once again like gun models mostly uh, and after that there was California which uh, which would be like <laughs> uh, which would be like first map that like was majorly uh, influenced by me I want to say what would you say uh, what, did you, what did you learn from California? I want to know this. Mm. <laughs> what did I learn from California? Yeah, what did you learn from California development? <laughs> Uh, from development, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess, I guess, I could tell you about how California was developed. 
So no, I'm just saying what you've learned from it. I'm not. I'm not asking for any of the details into it's. No, I mean I can tell you the story because it's interesting. Okay. Uh, I th I think there's something to be learned by like a lot of mothers. To be fair, uh, California was like. Mm, Clue just tried to get a bunch of custom assets on the map, which is reasonable for anything that like would be created. But the way he went about it was to get a bunch of people and like. You know, someone would do something, and like, uh, that was the, I want to say, old created mindset where like, there would be roles on the team, and like, everybody would do some specific thing. But like, the thing is, there was like maybe 10 custom assets for California in total, and like, the rest of it was just like vanilla, compound, Hawaii objects, which had to be get, well, had to be replaced. And the. Uh, Basically, just everything had to be replaced, and uh, all of the people like that were like doing next to nothing, just like were gone. And it was just me and Clue working on it. And over course, basically, that was like over course of a year. It was just like in this weird, I don't know, limbo. Uh, and then Clue was just reaching out to people looking for someone who wants to work on this and like at the time uh, I was like I believe I just finished Dango or like was still doing something for that and was just not doing anything so I took up on the California and like after a year it more or less released okay that's, uh, that's interesting what was the next project after California because I'm going to stick on California for too long uh uh Mm, I think Elber, but that, like, I once again just kind of helped with. Yeah, that was more like the and whatnot. I, I guess I can say, before we get into the big elephant in the room, um, which is the most recent, your most recent project, I want I want to say something before we even get into that. What did you think of the previous curated works, um, pre Elver, um, and what could you learn from other people that were, like, kind of involved with mapping, right? But you saw from the, as an outsider, like as an outsider looking at their maps. What what did you learn from them? I want to know this question. Mm, I mean, you would have to like say what maps in particular to be All honest. All of um, G two M stuff. Did you learn anything from like from him and um, Mookie? Mm, oh, who? I mean, maybe in the France times, like they were they were. I want to say major influence, but like uh, after time, like you know those sort of vanilla-ish concepts uh, were falling off. Would you say that say. would you say that um, now, you, the, kind of their influence has been kind of, like, disintegrated? Like, completely removed? Mm, I, I surely hope. Because uh, if it if it wasn't, we would be just getting yeah, maps like France all the time. Uh, or just, you know, whatever, medium maps, or just same vanilla maps. Uh, mm-hmm. Do you look back um, on those older maps that were created? Um, like, what do you what do we think about them? Mm. I think a lot of them were just like fun to experience once, like just play through them a little bit. But like, uh, there wasn't anything groundbreaking. Like, I would play Ireland. I would run around and like, this is like you know, there was Dead Zone. There was Gas Mask. I find wherever and like. Uh, it's it plays exactly the same like Russia once I figure out those two things, you know? Maybe there's a couple new guns or something, but like, it's it's just Russia. You know, it's same funny because uh, I think, I, think I, I agree with you to a certain degree that literally almost every map um, during that time was just felt like unrepackaged Russia. Um, so I, I completely understand what your view is. And as a mapper, I wanted to get your question on that because I think, I think that's very interesting. Because as a player, yeah. I've seen that, but I don't know from your perspective if it would be. Any I should from say mind. though that like I don't mean to blame Ireland in, in specific because like France is very much guilty of that and released after I believe, and the uh, that was just the mindset at the time that your map should be like the vanilla map, and uh, yeah. Do you think all, it potentially hindered a lot of like? Must... Mm, it's hard to say. But 
I don't know who had more influence over it. Like, was it Nelson or Much Too Much? Well, besides, it was... besides who had influence over it, did you think that if if it was more so... I guess, I guess here, okay, here's a better um, example. If everything was more influenced to be unique, do you think we would have more interesting experiences now? Um, or do you think it would be just kind of the same? Mm, I think we would get surely something like just imagine if elver released in like 2018 you know like people would look at that and be like oh maybe maybe we need to do something different you know do you think that those guys will ever come back to the scene and look at what's been done now uh no and actually i believe like that's one of the major problems with a lot of curated maps like people just make one map and then they just disappear I guess so, yeah. It, it's kind of sad because I tried to get in contact. This is like G2M and Mookie. Um, because I, re I really wanted to question them and see how they kind of reacted to everything. Because I don't know. A Did you get any reply? Did you get any reply from them? Oh, no. They have not responded to anything. Everything I tried everything. People it didn't will, really work. People will really make a curated map and then disappear and then reappear to be one of the founders of Battlebit Remastered. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I was, uh, was going to save this question uh, for now. I, I want to ask you, have you played Carpet or Naxxon? Yeah. Who what do you think it? about Carpet? Do you think Carpet was revolutionary? Do you think Carpet was a masterpiece? <laughs> uh, I, I wouldn't say so. Let's I think everybody, with these questions. I remember, every I remember game saying, needs... Every game needs something like Carpet, all right? Like Unturned every game be, needs, yeah, sure. Unturned it's wouldn't just... be complete without it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just mind-boggling to me because I even took part in the testing of it, and I don't know how none of us Wait, were like. Wait, you took part in the the testing and you didn't tell them about the tunnel? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Are you nobody... serious? I I I believe the tunnel might have been actually reported, but. Uh, I think the tunnel yeah. is still broken to this day. I uh, I'm 100 percent sure it is. Still broken. I didn't I didn't there play Carpet. No... What was the tunnel thing? If you go in the tunnel, like drive through it, your car will break. <laughs> oh, nice. The car is composed of multiple. I think there was like dock pieces and multiple tunnel pieces there. It looks awful. <laughs> and the uh, oh oh, and you mean the other tunnel? I thought you were talking about the train tunnel. No, There's no, also no, no. a train tunnel that is a custom object that is not marked as soft, and it damages your car when you pass through it. <laughs> yeah, it's such a good map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I think I agree. Yeah. With, okay, I'll say this because you're not saying it now, but I'm gonna say this for you. I agree with the point that Carpet really went against the idea of Unturned and how it went about it because the your biggest item slot. This is the this is what makes me love and hate Carpat. And a lot of people would probably agree with me on this part. The Your most space that you're going to hold in your inventory was your hands. Like, that's the most in inventory space you're going to get out of the entire, like, time you're playing Carpat. And I think it was an interesting concept for the time, especially when we were getting just Russia remakes at the time. And I think, it, I think to me, Carpat was kind of a, not so, like, important for the grand scheme of things, but it was important as a player of Unturned to see that people were not just said dead sent, on the idea of making just Russia over again. Listen, one of the maps had to be bad. Okay, Carpet, Carpet walked so that other maps could. Be fun, right? <laughs> Carpet. I, I guess. I guess it's fair that it was uh, one of the first maps to kind of stray off from the vanilla formula. But well, I mean, I love Carpet. Experiment. No, no. Listen, there is there is a love for Carpet. All right, I also do have that because. Whether it's a good map or not, it's it's a fun map. All right. <laughs> no, All of a sudden, you get, when you get chased across the map by a fucking dog, <laughs> I love when I get the APC and then it just dies within a minute because of an apur that just. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was pretty fun. Okay. Now we're, we're no longer talking about the past. Let's talk about now. Let's talk about your most recent project, which was. Arid. Okay. Desert map. He said the word. He said, "How how how much did it take? How much time? QQ? I don't know. Twenty five minutes. <laughs> Twenty five minutes. All right. Oh, this is what the people came here for. Really? So how long were you developing um, Arid for? Two years. What would you say was the the inspiration about the idea of of uh, Arid? 
big inspiration. I mean, there was a lot of inspirations. Uh, Would you? Can you pin it down to one like major thing or no? No, no way. No way. Okay. No well, that's way. good. That's good because as long as it's not male man, I'm glad with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I yeah. The I wouldn't say the male man video gave me any major inspiration. I tried to watch it like a couple of times, but uh, yeah, I. Do you, I do didn't you like see as much. Time? I didn't see as much value in it as Danaby did. That's for sure. Okay, because Danaby is a weirdo for thinking that that video is at all good, and I can't believe it. But thank God, there's some there's some reasoning here. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, quite obviously, seeing Elver, there is something to that video, but no. yeah, no, there there really isn't. Wow, I'm giving zero <laughs> great credence to Mano Man because he compared. Ru he said Washington was the same vibe as PEI in Russia. Which made, which was the worst thing he could. He said Yukon was the same as PEI. Okay, I, I'm sorry, that's just not true. <laughs> I'm like, I can't believe he would say something like that. Okay, when you say, <laughs> like, like what? I, I cannot believe some of the things he said in that video. Still to this day, to this day, I can't believe it. It's so insane. But, but yeah, I mean, Dan did take some of the things he did say to heart, which was like a highway <laughs> in a centralized yeah, location. Perfect. Highway then, he put a a highway on the, then he put a highway on the second one, so... I mean, yeah. So, what would you say was, like... I don't know. What was the hardest part about Arid? I don't I don't know what, how to really ask about Arid as a whole. Hardest part about Arid? Uh... Man, that's actually... A hard question. Uh... Because I was working on it quite a while ago. Mm -hmm. This is a hard question. <laughs> I, I really don't know how to answer it. I, I <laughs> it's just know. a hard question. Do you, okay, I guess I could ask, let's go with the starting the basics. Did you make Arid just to be more so like Washington? Or did you make it to be like, I don't know, what was what were you trying to go for with Arid, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, mm, yeah, that's the hard part. I don't, I don't know what I was going for. Okay. I would say that Elver was a major inspiration, where like you can sort of get guns anywhere, and like uh, there's sort of tiers of mm, like protective clothing. Uh, you know, like tier one military vest and tier two. Uh -huh. uh, so there's that sort of. Uh, Which, to be honest, Vanilla Unturned also has in a way. It kind of does, but not you just really. Just streamlined it, basically. It's made it. More uh, it's made much more impactful on Elber, and also yeah. you don't have like tier two helmets on vanilla maps. I mean, unless you count like firefighter helmet and military yeah. helmet, but that's pointless. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I was like, if we're gonna get into the, you know, <laughs> no, into that's the just, weeds of it, no. then, yeah. Well, mm. I mean, mm. I don't know. When when I first played Arid, because I was in the Arid playtesting, it's actually kind of funny. I never really told this story because I don't know if you remember this Red Axon. But we talked about, know. we talked, it was just me and you in a, in a voice call. Uh, of course, you were angry that it was just me and you in a voice call. <laughs> and, and we were, I was playtesting uh, with you. And I told you, um, we were talking about an hour. I talked about an hour about Arid. I literally an hour really? during the playtest. Do you not remember? I, that memory is gone. Because you suck. Because you suck and you're a horrible person. That's why it's gone. Like, my memory's auto delete after, like, about a week. But, but, but for dude, context... Dude, that's called dementia, dude. That's like... <laughs> that is... Check that shit out. Go to a doctor. Go to a doctor, please. I'm Do they sorry. Have you you ever... It's been more than a week. Have you ever heard of this cool map called Arid? <laughs> you might have forgotten about this one. Yeah. Do, you, do you just randomly receive money in your account from Steam? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know when I get the royalties. Are you from. gonna add the hind to Arid? Oh my god. Dude, you should <laughs> you it. should add spells to Arid. I feel like gonna... we're lacking a lot of wizardry on that map. Are you gonna I feel add like the... it, would, it would fit really well. Actually, here, here's add something the funny. AS Val to Arid? I think we should legalize nuclear bombs. No, 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 actually, really... here's something funny that I think Renaxon has still not done. I'm very mad about it. Why haven't you added a British reference into Arid? Like from the what colonial British times, what? bro? Because oh. it's the desert, we died. No! no Why haven't like, you added oh, a oh, colonial oh, oh, British oh, rig? Wait, Ren. wait, Ren. Isn't the DP-28 a British weapon? Well, uh -huh. The DP-28? But is it, that's more recent, though. Isn't that weapon more is recent? It, that's, that's a Soviet machine that, gun. Never mind. Yeah. 
Oh, okay, okay. Oh, speaking of the Lewis gun. Because, uh, <laughs> because I'm no, I'm talking about like the like the co- colonial age. Like that's what I'm talking about. I want to, I want to go th- look. I in think the... I remember talking with you about that at some point, but like at the same time, there was no like British uh, any kind of like references on the map, like locations or whatever. So I mean, it's kind of been if you think about it, it's kind of been yeah, it's been kind of cleaned at the time that this map is kind Can of we... taking place. If we're getting getting into the you know Night Rider version of it. But I mean, like, I, w- I would love to be in the middle of like the de- like far out in the open and just find like a like a Kuwait colonizer or something. <laughs> mm. I think I-, I still want that to be a thing because I think some really bad like colonial era weapon in a-, in a map is kind of funny, similar to like the musket in France. That's what I was also gonna make. You know, I that's one thing I was considering Dude. adding to Aaron actually. So Dude, I mean, I would love musket. like something like that because that's funny. The musket's insane. I, yeah. I love using the musket. It's so funny. It got like, it got like added to like the airdrops on Silverport, and I realized that one shot headshot. Yeah, that, that's. And since it's then, a fun I've weapon. only used the musket. It's, it's a fun weapon. Fun. I would love to see something like that in Arid. But True. yeah, to get back on the whole conversation thing, I literally talked to you for about an hour, and this is pre. This is before the podcast was even a thing, and I want to say that conversation really opened. Like, my mind, too. I can really just talk about this fucking game for about, for hours on end. And I think I told you that, Ren. I told you, Ren, I told you, like, after our conversation, I'm like, shit, we've been talking for about, uh, I've been talking about this for, like, an hour to you. And you've said literally nothing because you suck at, like, conversations. I have no memory of that conversation. Because you, because you don't remember it. But I remember it. Yeah, yeah. you can, you give me, can give me, like, some major game. points you talked about or something. I basically said that I feel like you just made, I made a really good updated version of Washington. I felt like you, you did a lot of the concepts that Washington kind of pioneered when it first came out. And I feel, I told you straight up, this map will literally be played a lot because it's really fun and I can really see the potential of how it's going to be played out. And I, I was personally, like, I love the fucking map. I mean, most recently, I was having some of the, my best moments um, in recent time on Arid because of how good it is. I, I knew that the moment that I first played that map, that it was going to be a really good map. And I told you that for about an hour and explained why. Um, I can't, you know, relate every point I said in that hour long conversation that we had. But it, I remember. Right. The main I, point I suppose was that. I believe you. I remember the main point was that. And I said to myself. Man, I really can talk about this game for hours on end. And this is before the podcast was even a thing. And um, that's also another reason you can why talk you talk about the, the game show. for hours on end. Damn, you should really start a podcast about that or something. Yeah, he turned a problem into a profit. <laughs> Apart I'm, from he's not profiting from this. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I've lost more money on the show than, than anything yeah, I've I haven't. So, I mean, yeah, you guys don't. And uh, yeah, yeah. But, you know, I don't care about that. It's not about the money. I don't care about the money. Give me your money then. Give me your wallet. So what would you say was the inspiration for your cosmetic items for the first the first box in in Arid? The, okay, well, why are you saying first when there was only one? Okay, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I'm getting stupid. Okay, you know the, bun- okay the, the bundles, because the bundles are kind, kind of something different, but I mean, I kind of want to consider them the same, like, you let know, me, let me Let me take a look at what's in the Arid, uh, Arid box. Uh, inspiration. I mean, you know what? I could honestly not tell you. Uh, <laughs> they're all just random. Like there's tracksuit bottoms. There's a, <laughs> there's a military jacket, like a woodland cow. There's a monocular. Uh, Bro, it's just stuff. like you know things that I think would be cool, really. That's uh, and obviously, some of them are a little edgy. You know, the school bandana, absolute classic. Uh, responder rig, really, also, I want to say, well acclaimed item. Dude, uh, I swear for like, I swear for like, three or even like five months after Arid release, the only cosmetics I would ever see anyone wear would be the surplus jacket and tracksuit on. And I never saw anyone wear anything <laughs> other than that. And it got to a point where I couldn't remember anyone wearing anything other than that. Yeah. 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 I mean, That's why I only wear the OG clearly, shit. <laughs> clearly, you knew what you were doing with the skull bandana. Clearly, yeah. Clearly. I mean, yeah. I mean, how much? Yeah. I mean, I the responder rig is, is, uh, is, uh, has a better market price now. The responder rig, I believe, gives you back a box, basically, if you manage to unbox it. 
Uh, huh. What a what a banger item. It's a shame that Nelson is against military cosmetics. I mean, it makes sense though. I mean, come on. You're infringing upon so am the I. PI code. You should make a wizard set. Uh, what did you say, Charles? <laughs> you Damn, should make okay. a wizard set. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, let's go. I'm kidding. Don't do that because it never yeah. exists. I think we are all forgetting about the fucking robots, all right? There's only one robot in the game. True. Like, no, yeah, there's, there's... Okay, like, okay. There's no robot shit. sets. No. There's like, no robot no, 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 guys, guys. You're forgetting. You're forgetting. No, there's two <laughs> robots. <laughs> the cybernetic <laughs> the cybernetic piece that's... Dude, we do so not speak somewhere. about the Dude, cybernetic SOE, enhancement. SOE is not real, all right? That's a myth. I just like we do wait, not wait. speak about that cosmetic. Did I remember? Do you remember the animation? We we replaced Spebby with SOE. <laughs> we made like some joke in the animation, and someone just replaced him with SOE. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Spebby's just a really good uh, voice actor. You know, he can play many roles. He can play a uh, SOE. He can play a uh, Nilex, right? Yeah, he can play yeah. Nilex. Yeah, and Nilex too. <laughs> and Nilex too. <laughs> Nilex. Yeah, you Nilex mean Eunice? too. Eunice? What about Eunice? Yeah. I don't know. Okay, I guess... What would you say was the... Renaxon, I'm sorry, my bad. Renaxon, what would you say was the most fun thing about Arid? Mm. Ooh, like, fun as in on the map, or like, fun for me to make? Fun for you to make and fun on the map. Uh, I mean, I think weapons, honestly. I absolutely love just modeling guns and like that would be a constant thing I would just come back to really I would just go back to my blend file with guns and like just uh, you know, look at them and like tweak little things about them and uh, make some silly variants or whatever and like I think that's quite visible on the map where you can get a lot of you know just silly guns and some of them are like extremely rare or whatever Hmm. I think that's. I think, like, just the sheer variety gives gives people something to work towards, you know. Okay, what would you say was the most fun thing on the map, just to pl play game gameplay wise? Gameplay wise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh. Uh. Whew. I think barter systems and all are kind of cool, but like they are a little. Well, they are quite limited by like just entrance clunkiness. It's unturned uh, after all. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, okay. What was your favorite item on Arid? Favorite yeah. item on Arid? Yes. Ah, oh, man. Mm, probably Carjack. I don't know. The Carjack was silly. your favorite item? Mine yeah, was the rubber I... duck. I mean, that's a good one as well. <laughs> but like, Carjack looks very silly it from if you look at it it's it's kind of like a small small car almost reminds me of like a fire truck you know a fire you know what truck. i'm saying like yeah like it's a red rectangle and it's got like four I get wheels what you're you know yeah, yeah okay well i think I've, uh, and what i want to get to is i think we should get carjack skins and unturn true true so based for that one in the custom mesh like a fire truck fire yeah, truck carjack honestly okay nelson don't listen to this guy, this Renaxon guy. I think he's a no, bit like. You gotta listen. He has dementia <laughs> like, in the brain. Come on, we got a detonator skin. Carjack is, is skin. next. I'm gonna up. say this right now, Nelson Sexton. I think Renaxon has a problem in the brain. You don't need to listen to him. He's a bit weird. I know, I know. <laughs> listen. Speaking about be, being a bit weird, you would did you say to having dementia? Were you were you worried about the response that you would get from the releasing your map? Did you think you were gonna get negative responses? Do you think you were gonna get like positive mm -hmm. responses? Do you think anybody would care? Uh, oof. uh I mean, I didn't expect like mm, any kind of. I mean, like I, I didn't have any great expectations. You know, like it's kind of like you release it and you'll see what happens. Like obviously, you get some data from testing, but like you can only tell so much how it's actually going to play, how how people are actually going to like it, because you can run testing for, like, a week, but, like, you would need a lot of people to, like, try to simulate, you know, some a kind of, like, experience. living server. 
Mm. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's kind of what you do all the time when it comes to play test. You you act like an asshole because you want to play. <laughs> oh yeah, wait. Uh, we were right, no, I'm, de- I'm just saying. I've, I've, I've during our Aaron play that. test, I I've ever okay. I want to say this real quick because this is just funny. I played Aaron. I stood outside Renaxon's base one fucking time, and Renaxon got so mad <laughs> that I stood outside his base and killed him when he tried to go outside. <laughs> <laughs> he got so bad. I remember I just yeah, laughed. Bro, really being I laughed pulled so out hard. Right now. I was like, he's so bad. <laughs> it was good times. Good times. Uh, it's kind of I funny. I have no memory of that. Because you have dementia. Jesus. Yeah, you have dementia. <laughs> we have established that already. I think, okay, that's going to be the, the premise of this episode. Does Renaxon have dementia? Now, <laughs> I think that's true. So the case has been that's closed. That's up. What do you mean that's messed up? Yes. What is messed up? Are you saying that? You saying what? Saying what? Did saying I have dementia? Do, do, do uh, you not did remember what? what you... uh, wait, wait, we didn't say that, Ren. So we never said break. anything about. No, we're <laughs> we're not kidding. We didn't say anything about you having dementia. I mean, do you remember us saying that we told you that you had dementia? Shut up, Shiden. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm being, I've been like really nice to you. I mean, I let you on the did podcast. Did you pause the Family Guy episode just to just to start talking? Try to... Did you, dude? Did you pause? I, I'm not gonna say that. Just <laughs> like, 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 Red, when, why did you, yeah. why did you add, why did you add more green to Arid after people said that it needs more green? Clearly. Uh, I don't think anyone has actually expressed that it needs more green. But like, if you played the map for any time longer than an hour you would notice that the map is quite beige no 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 uh, i remember i remember people were like mm, so boring landscape mm, more green please or actually something. i looks, looks I, I don't remember that dude but i remember people saying that. and when, and when you shit. added more green people were like it's a fucking desert oh my god why why yeah there has Wait. been some vocal people saying that the greenery was a mistake and that it's a desert map and it, it there should be no forests. Let me let me no, say this real quick to that. that point. We went we went from discussing dementia to discussing bipolarity. No right? no no, so, no. Can I say something about the whole like adding like green to to arid? I mean yeah go ahead. Though though I will say this. On a lot of the maps I I don't know I think this is unintentional because unintentional, my bad. Because I don't I don't think the RGBLs really care to any map creator, but it's funny because every green on almost every map is kind of different. So if, if someone has a green skin made for like Washington and PEI, right? It's not going to really transfer mm-hmm. well to Russia or Arid because their greens yeah. are way different. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. it's really funny to think about um, like looking at someone like bright green in like, like kind of darkish green area. So it just makes them mad. Like people yeah. now, I saw I saw someone the other day who had uh, character sets for every map. So they have a snow a snow character for Polaris. They have a desert character for desert maps, and then they have a like PI green skin, and then Russia uh, green skin. I've okay. I've I've made this point before, but I swear that green skins are like chameleons that change color depending on their environment. <laughs> That's why. Okay, and also I, I mean. To be frank, making a desert map kind of fights that because, like, everyone has access to kind of the, the normal skin. You know, the regular beige. Normal? Whoa, or... okay. Yeah. Normal? It's, it's, it's you that said it first. Normal? Right? Oh. <laughs> normal? Wait, I'm just Wait. quoting. Ren, did, um, did sales increase when you released the update? Uh, on the box, there was a bump. Uh, the bundles... I can't talk, you know, about the specific numbers, but I think Increase. the sales are largely influenced by the very high price that Nelson gave them. I don't know why he gave them such a big price, and uh, do it's you very think, odd. Do you think... Hmm. It's kind of funny because, uh, I'm going to say this right now, bundles have always been a scam. <laughs> like, for the longest time. When it came to, I, when it came I, to this... I don't think they were a scam some time ago, but with the current prices, they are... Overpriced, way overpriced. It's just kind of funny because it's like you're paying a certain amount of money for like potentially only a couple cosmetics. Because people, when they look at boxes, they don't really necessarily think they want everything. The majority of them just want like a specific cosmetic. So I'm like, why would you spend about fifteen dollars on buying the whole entire like box bundle set when you can just buy 
couple boxes and potentially get it. And or and on top of that, maybe even get a mythical from it that would cost way more money than than the bundle like would cost. Well, I know, I, I know, it's like, oh, we're gonna talk about randomness, but like, I'm gonna be real, like, why? <laughs> I guess <laughs> to me that doesn't really matter. Just, oh, I want, I want that cosmetic, but. Like, I've tried it with the previous box, and I bought, like, 20 fucking boxes, and I haven't got that that True. one cosmetic that I wanted, right? So it's kind of a way to guarantee that you'll get it. Yes, but, but it's, I mean, come on. <laughs> okay, hang I on. Think I think the main that. appeal of boxes really is just the mythicals anyway. Yep. It's the gambling. Yeah, it's the gambling. No, it's yeah, it's gambling. It's gambling. It's fun. Also, it's I do, I love I do have to ask, with the, with the latest release, what was it? The Taurus bundle for Arid? Did yeah. that have any like inspiration at all? Uh, <laughs> yes. Because I know that anything um, like slightly feminine at all is probably inspired by some kind of character. Renaxon, like, uh, what was the inspiration? My hair is I know the... inspired by a twelve from Girls Frontline. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Re- there was, but, there was uh, no other. The rest is kind of just like made up. Hmm. Yeah. I know that there's like two. I think three different hair cosmetics which are inspired by anime characters. I know that the the, know that the feline fox... hair and the operator caps are not inspired by anything in particular. Yeah, those two aren't. I remember I asked Danabe those two aren't. I know that those, the those are kind of just like knot, stereotypes. To be yeah, honest. the knot Jesus. and the fox hair are both um, from Genshin Impact. I know that much because I asked Danabe. Yeah, um, played the game. And also just look at Polaris, alright? True, yeah, Polaris is actually an area in Genshin Impact. Uh, <laughs> don't check, by the way. Just it's trust a... me. Polaris is yeah, an unturned reference. It. Yeah, Polaris is an unturned reference. They added, <laughs> it, they added it after the unturned map, it's actually one-to-one. Wait, 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 Stas, why are you saying that when we know that Polaris is a reference to Polytopia's most broken... <laughs> I mean, that's the collab, basically. That's the collab, like the collab. collab. Yeah. Real. We gotta get uh, Majawan mm. to do a, a unturned crossover, dude. It would work, all right. It would Both be so games epic. have like squares as characters. Mm-hmm. I would like. When, to see when the... was the when it, when was the last time Unturned had a crossover with another Dying game? Light, uh, Dying Light, Dying Light. No, no. The last time was uh, Console Edition Elver. That was that the last a count. Time. <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro thinks bro can hold the the dev- What was it? The gun that goes in the sentry gun. In his head. <laughs> no. Dude, that was so I mean, stupid. Listen, the, the 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 stereo doesn't work, right? That's enough for the me. The stereo doesn't work. It still doesn't work. Just know Is this. Uh, I guess I want to talk some crap about console. Just know that yeah. the development of console is three times less productive than when Fun Labs had it in when it came to the hands of Cradle Games. So, so I'm Dude, gonna they should just give that. me it. Like, no, okay, hang on. Here's who, here's who you should give it to. There's this, okay, there was this one random Russian guy who's porting the entirety of 3.0 and has ported the entirety of 2.0 onto a mobile. And Give it, it to him, he'll do something. Yeah, no, it works. He, like, emulates yeah. it. Yeah. It's really yeah. cool. Like, give it to him, he'll do something, I'm sure. It's really funny to think about that. Give him the rights to console. It says something about the development of Unturned as well, like, how solo a solo guy made unturned and the way that it played unturned but when a company got hands of unturned it ruined it completely then this yeah. one solo guy who ported it to con like um to mobile, mobile. literally did an amazing fucking yeah. job because like he, i think he it's did, because, he I think it's, because it's yeah i think it's yeah. because most of it is like straight up copied and, because and i he... think that like console <laughs> is more of a like it's more of like half of a recreation compared yeah, to the mobile well, yeah, like, being an like, actual it's like, port. They he didn't touch the game. The one the one dude that uh, put on an emulator. The thing is that the act that the company that ported it to console, if they fucked it up by adding their like coin system, I mean, and it's then loud. adding like yeah, uh, I mean, reverting back to the rating update, which I don't know how people feel about that. And I'll, it's just it's it's weird. I mean, I'll be back in a minute. Bro's leaving. <laughs> huh. But yeah, like, console vision uh, will forever be Unturned's, like, worst ever, like, thing that happened. Iteration. It's, it's the worst thing that happened to Unturned. Console vision was literally the worst but, thing but, that happened. Okay, the main, question, <laughs> the main question is why did they try to make it a different game? 
Because they, money. Because money. I mean, oh, no. because money. Because, okay, you want to think, right? They could have just this happened... made vanilla, okay. but monetized it. But no, they... They could have... Okay. They did this with they did this with Minecraft. They did this with Terraria because it was originally like five or five, wasn't it? Um, they yeah. did this with Minecraft and they did this with Terraria. They completely remade the game so that they could make um, so that so that they could monetize it a lot more. But you'll notice you'll notice the difference. I think the biggest difference is um, the console editions of Minecraft. Compare the final versions of Legacy Console to the first versions of what's now Bedrock, and you'll notice s such a massive difference. And it like obviously like Bedrock sucks, but you can tell that Minecraft was becoming Minecraft again. You know, when it was <laughs> when it was in the hands of uh, Microsoft. Again. It's such a it's such a weird topic because we're all in the we're all kind of in the same genre as them as well. So I always look at um, Minecraft and like Rust as like good examples yeah. to like see if we can make parallels to stuff. And um, even when major updates that they come out with that change everything, I think of um, you know Unturned kind of had its own version of the combat update uh, um, when like the end came out for uh, the end update came out for uh, Minecraft when it came to its third person changes and stuff like that and more recent changes as of now. So it's kind of interesting. Yeah to look at how the responses are similar because the responses have been similar um to them we still don't we still don't have an elytra in unturned though i don't think <laughs> i don't think i'll ever want that it, it would be so nelson stupid. you should add an elytra to unturned you should add sure you should add shurikens please i'm back make the, he should make the glider work the exact same way the elytra does honestly that'd be so <laughs> cool <laughs> <laughs> shut up Renaxon, I don't see the issue with that. Renaxon, do you think, do you think, um, I was, I was asking something, but I forgot. I completely forgot. I have dementia. What the hell? Yeah. Renaxon, you uh -oh. gave me dementia. Yeah. Wow. It spreads. It spreads. So he's confirmed. He's confirmed it now. So that Renaxon now has dementia and that it could spread to people in voice calls with him. So anyone what? that sees Renaxon on the voice call, just stay away uh -huh. from him. He's just going to give you dementia. <laughs> Wow, that's slander. That's not slander. You literally confirmed it. Mm. Confirmed what? He just said that he gave me dementia. What? What? Huh? Bro, I forgot. What? You all are dementia. <laughs> you all have dementia now. <laughs> Renaxan, what would you say to someone that was kind of wanting to get into modding but didn't really know how to get into modding? What would you say to them? Oh... Uh, learn to model, uh, and, uh, really once you figure out how to put one thing in the game, you sort of know everything, because yeah. there isn't, there isn't much to be done, really. Most of the things is just you replace the model material and, like, you're kind of done, but, like, you need to know the basic process of doing that. Other than, other than vehicles, do not get into vehicle modding. <laughs> I mean, dude, I'm even sorry. that is just like replace dude. the model material and like move some things around. Dude, vehicle vehicle modders vehicle modders are mad, dude. I I make one joke about overthrowing vehicle the vehicle modding elite, and they're all after me now. <laughs> dude, they make good money, <laughs> dude. Said... <laughs> they make good money. I've heard some of the stories. Yeah, you're, he's going after dude. their income. Here's the thing, right? Even like, cause I joked that I said, "Oh, I'm gonna release the, I'm gonna release all the documentation for how to make vehicle physics profiles," and and that I'm going after the vehicle modding elite, and they took that as the most personal attack <laughs> that they've ever like read in seven years, for some <laughs> reason. Like, and the and the funny thing is, even if I did do that, people would still commission. Because people commission for absolutely anything because it's simply easier to pay someone and give them a description than it is to learn to do everything yourself. So of course. what you're saying yeah. is that the vehicle modding community is very uh gatekeeping of stuff. True. On God, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty much well, dude, they make like, they make killer bank though. I heard some some fucking numbers because of uh because of servers I used to staff on. That's that was fun. like those numbers are stupid. <laughs> exactly. Dude. Like, <laughs> dude, I don't know. 
Dude, modern commission takers like do make bank though. Like, I heard like I heard Entei's numbers, dude. <laughs> Damn. I guess we could ask Ren that. Ren, has anyone, like, offered you, like, a shit Ren, ton of money? Ren, how much money do you make? No, no, no. Has anyone offered you a shit ton of money for, like, something so stupid? Uh... I just don't... Uh, don't even, like, tell people I would... Gosh, I mean, I just refuse commissions. You refuse I mean, commissions? I don't... Are you, yeah. you refuse commissions? Yeah, so I have right. a commission for you. Ah... Uh... I have a commission. No, uh, no, no. Make a, make an appearance on the Unturned podcast. Can oh, I com- no, wait, can you I did his first you? commission, oh, dude. Oh, oh, oh. Can oh. I commission <laughs> you to not deny my commission? My commission? Ooh. Uh, got you there, Ren. Yeah, I've got you there. I now made what? some commissions long ago, but they were just like 8 euro a gun kind of thing. And I made like, I don't know, 20 guns or something. It wasn't anything nuts. Uh... Wait, eight euro total for twenty or eight euro? No, eight euro per, per gun. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> eight euro in total, bro. <laughs> That's my type of type of mod. <laughs> bro gets paid scraps for that, dude. <laughs> okay, okay. This is this is a funny question because I I didn't ask this to Dan. I should have probably asked him. What is the most stupid comment you've gone about Arid that you should add or fix? Uh... Did you add the hinds to that? Uh, I think like kind of repeating comments uh, that are very silly and that like always get a giggle uh, is like comments that you can find on every curated map, which is like add M two four nine, add A as well, add X gun. You know, it's like it's it's an it's an absolute staple and Dude. and <laughs> it's not going yeah. to happen i'm not adding the whatever gun you want here just, no. uh, Dude, i remember i remember reading like a massive tangent about why elva is bad and it like boiled down to there's mon- there's no maple strike there's and no that's way, what it boils down no to there's an, uh, here run i have to here run i'm going to go uh, see you later bro's leaving bro what <laughs> <laughs> Bye, what God. Huh? Bro is leaving the show. The bro is gone. Damn. He left, bro. He flew. You know, Charles has to do edit out editing. his head out of the like, He's gotta, heads, you know? <laughs> Can you just like slightly scribble over it and post when it happens? I'm, in post, I'll just put like a box over it. <laughs> just... You can still, yeah, see, you can still see his hair. <laughs> I'll, I'll, put still like a, I'll put a box over it. Like a red cross in MS Paint. Yeah. <laughs> bro died. <laughs> So, what's so, next? Now what? what are we doing here? Okay, okay, okay. Good question. The last thing I guess I kind of want to ask Renax on, when it came to, I guess, development as a whole. What's the what's the future mm. like? What are you going to do in the future? Are you going to continue updating Arid, or are you on to something else? Uh, I don't have major plans for Arid uh, at this point. Hold, hold, I, hold up, hold up. I made a patch, what was it? Almost a month ago, at the beginning of this month, and like that sort of uh, fixed almost everything that I like had on my mind. Uh-huh. Uh, there was still like a couple small additions that could be made, but like there was nothing major in my mind that needs like uh, tweaking. Like the map has its issues, which like I'm aware of, like inventory system being absolute mess. Uh, but, like, there is no kind of fixing to it, and, like, that's also part of the reason why people like the map. So, like, you know, I'm not gonna redo the map. I'm I'm gonna work on something new, you okay. know? So so you are gonna work so, on something new? Yeah, I... You should add I, me to I have been on working Arid. on a new map for, like, I wanna say since I finished Arid, more or less. Since the beginning of 2022. But, like, uh, it has been kind of on and off, you know. I've been doing it for a little bit and then taking a break for a little bit. Especially recently where I just had to make the Arid update. Okay. There's nothing you can share on that as of right now, right? Uh, what'd you say? There's nothing you can share about your future project or no? Uh, I mean, I can say it's, it's like a medium map set in America and... and not good. It's probably, yeah. 
He's making Washington too. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Uh, that's no, no. that's sort of the idea. He's making New York. <laughs> He's yeah, making exactly. Washington free. He's making New York, bro. Washington free. Washington well, free. That's good to hear. I'm, I'm trying to think of any more questions I would like to ask you before we end this. Well, episode. we have the community questions, right? Oh, yes. Dude, go, go let's ahead. go to the Let's chat. go ask the community <laughs> questions now. Right, Axon? You guys can read them. Let's see. I'll let you guys read them. Not right. Uh, you know what? Let me let me just tell you which ones I can answer from the Axon, no, 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 no. Stacks, whose podcast is it? The first reasonable question comes from Mr. Frog. No, 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 this is not your podcast, Red Axon. What do you mean? Stacks, what do you you're mean? the arbiter of, you're the, arbiter of oh, the questions. Right. Okay, n- n- let's do it, let's do it. So why did you, why did you make the DMR? Uh, I actually why? don't know which DMR it refers to. DMR. Uh, all of the them. DMR, bro. <laughs> you made you made the actual real gun. Um. Uh, I'm going to assume it refers to the DMR on Arid, which is like M39, uh, uh, and it's pretty much just inspired by the fact that I was playing Rust and I really like the M39 and, and how that gun looks. Uh. Yeah. Uh, I, and there needed to be some kind of long-range semi-automatic weapon on Arid, so there was a DMR. Boom. Hmm. All right. All right. Uh... How do you manage to continuously work on a map for two years without getting burnout? Mm, I I don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't. Like I said, Arid. Like I said, Arid, Arid took two years, and like the first. I want to say like three months where probably like I probably got like I don't know half of the map done in that time like I was just like you know full of ideas and just extremely motivated to go at it but like then I would just like just burn out really and like I would have long periods where I would just like Go and play Tarkov, and uh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's uh, the that's the thing with like every project. Like you have the most motivation just like before you even start it. That's w- that's when you have the most motivation to do it. But yeah, then and gonna... it's it's also sort of comes down to the fact that like you have a lot of ideas uh, and they're kind of all over the place, and you can kind of like work on whatever you wanna because you have all of those ideas kind of you know floating in your head. Let's say. So you can kind of just do random things, but like once you start getting more done, you need to like actually focus on more specific things, and you might not want to work on them as much. Uh, yeah. But yeah, our development was long, and like I was going. I think I went through through like two jobs at that time. I I quit two jobs because they weren't very fun, and uh, yeah. It's just there has been a lot in that whole development time. All right, Diddly, you handle the next ones. I'm gonna take a leak. Bro, okay, I got all the right, next let one. Me, Can you give me? All money? right, let me look. <laughs> all right, uh, next one comes from Speffy. <laughs> no, 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 wait. There's still a question from uh, Dynamite. All right, okay. Uh, for unturned guns, what do you think is a good width? Yeah, that's actually a very good question, and I think that the golden standard. For everyone, should be Zubeknikov. Uh, mm. Really, unturned guns are pretty silly with their proportions. And if there's one thing that you shouldn't alter too much, is the overall like thickness, width, I guess you could say. And like the general grip size and the length to the end of the stock. Which I want to say roughly should be similar to Zebeknikov because if your stocks are too long or like realistically proportioned, they will stick out behind your character like one meter when you start aiming, which looks very silly. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I want to ask this real quick. Do you think that there will ever be a person that makes a paper gun? A paper gun? What do you mean? It's like the width is so small that like it, it looks like as thin as paper. I mean, people people often do that. I mean, well, maybe not paper thin, but like people often make realistically proportioned guns, and they look very odd because the unturned hand is like. Are you saying that there's a realistically times... paper thin gun? 
I mean, okay, maybe not paper thin, <laughs> but it feels paper thin when you compare it to the blocky unturned okay. hands, which are like six times thicker. Okay, okay. Alright, okay. This one comes from Spevy. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you on September 11th, 2001? Mm, at that time, I was still under one year old. Okay. Mm, actually, very close to my first birthday. Uh, uh, so yeah. How did you react to that time? Mm. Uh, w but where was I? Hmm. Probably... What was your live reaction to that moment? Probably like, oh ha, you know, <laughs> this little baby. That's, I don't that's know. crazy. Hmm. All right, let me let me look. What's next? What's next? Uh, favorite item on the Burger King menu. Okay, you know what? I can't even recall the last time I ordered something from Burger King, mostly because like all the like fast food chains are kind of like one hour away from me. Uh, but let's take a quick peek at the Burger King menu. Also, can can I just add quickly that just Burger King is shit? It is. It is. I agree. Sure. But I would probably say like cheeseburger to be honest. Like there, so there was nothing. Isn't crazy that there. like half of the menu? <laughs> You've described almost every item. <laughs> hamburger. Bro, got it. Can I have a cheeseburger? I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a Burger King fan. Okay, we we'll want the next question. No, it's their stuff is just so incredibly mid. Like, it's, it's, yeah, it's. it's I just, agree with that. It's not even bad. It's just like you know. I'm Dude, it's okay. overpriced for how mid it is. Okay. I'm a, okay. I'm gonna keep it real. Uh, I think I don't know whether this is just like England Burger King being better, but like Burger King's pretty good over it because it's made. It's an English. Yeah, company. because everything is terrible there. <laughs> it's and also it's an English company. <laughs> True. <laughs> Wait, is it? Yes. Hang on. I'm I, I only know that this is an English company because Jack in the Box was talking smack, and they're like, "Oh, they're an English company. It makes so much more sense." <laughs> Uh, the the Burger Wars is kind of funny as a as a whole history. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It really is. <laughs> no, I googled it. It says Burger King is an American based. No, it's not. Bro, I'm gonna look at it again. It says American based. Okay, whatever. Let's go to the next question. Why Let's do talk you, about. No, 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 no. Why do you think it's called King? All right, yeah, Burger which King, country yeah. has monarchy? <laughs> which country has monarchy to this day? Well, they're not. They're not gonna change the name every time. Every time they die. Oh yeah, no, it's no, no, Burger want, Queen. Then it was Burger want, King. I want burger president, all right? Burger president. True. <laughs> burger prime minister. Burger prime minister. Okay, we have derailed it very heavily. Awesome. All right, you what's do. next? All right. Uh, Durante says, uh, for Arid, what made you go? What made you go like? Oh, screw it! I'm gonna make a completely new art style for this desert map. Uh... What made, pretty much what made you change? Com like completely change art style for Arid. Uh, I guess like prototype idea of Arid was sort of like brewing in my head when I was just before I started w working on California. I was just like kind of making this this map where I was just like making a bunch of items, uh, and a lot of them later were like recycled into Arid. Uh, but like it just kind of sparked out of the fact that like. Oh, I'm not gonna use anything vanilla. I might as well switch up the style because I'm not going to use anything vanilla. So I'm not really limited by what it is doing. Uh, hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, he also asks, if you were to divide up the time you spent making Arid, how would it look like? Um. That's a tough question. Uh. Man, I, I really don't know how to answer that. Mm, it's right. been Eat, sleep. I just had to make more or less everything, really. So I mean, divide that into right. two years. I mean, obviously, uh, I had map making yeah. help from Danaby. He made NPCs. Uh, Doug made some weapon animations, and uh, I want to say, besides mm. that, I was mostly on my own with that. Uh, All right. Um. Next is, are you still proud of France, or at least the work you did for France? Uh, uh, I guess we sort of touched on that, but like, yeah. Uh, I was proud of it at the time. Um, uh, but like, 
seeing I'm more capable now, I I don't know if I'm like super proud of it, you know? But it still has a place in my heart as like one of the first things I worked on, if that makes sense. Hmm. Alright. Uh, what was the hardest gun to make look good? Uh, it's a hard question, because I made a lot of guns. Uh, uh, I, hmm, you know what? I'm trying to look around the models that I've made, and I... <laughs> First inspecting. Um, yeah, I'm just gazing. Uh, I'm... I can't think of anything from the top of my head. I'm sorry. That's fair. Um, the fifth one is any advice on modding overall? Oh, none. Those are questions that I should have like prepared for. Really, uh, I guess with any large project, I would say like do a lot of planning, like. I know it might seem obvious, but like I don't think enough things are are planned, or like if they're not planned, you will kind of don't have a great idea of like what to do really, and that mm -hmm. might end up like wasting your time. That's fair. All right. Uh, there's there's six here from Boxboy Josh. He says, "What is your favorite Tarkov gun?" Favorite Tarkov gun. Uh, I think it would be a tie between Ash 12 and G28. Ash 12 because of just how unique it is, and G28 just because of how cool it looks. Move to four because hmm. we answered the other the other two. Sure. Yep. Um. Why change the WKM Bata and remove it from AG19? Uh, this is a very arid specific question, but. Uh, WKM barter has been made more expensive because it's a fairly meta weapon. Perhaps it's mm. slightly too expensive in its current state. Uh, but yeah, it, ha it has been removed from AG19 just because it was fairly absurdly easy to get. It, like, it's a first dead zone and it's pretty much a meta weapon. Uh, so, yeah. Hmm. Um... Should we move on to the questions by witness? No. No. Okay. He still has two more. Will the uses of will the, will the usage of bartering items be something to see in your maps, or is this only a feature for Aaron? Mm. Uh, good question. This is something that I want to say I've been asked about in the past. Uh. But I don't see myself making another map with something as extensive as Arid. Uh, if if anything, I would really try to make something uh, just simple <laughs> this time around. Because, yeah, really. Hmm. I think Arid is terribly complicated and it just feels weird with the unturned inventory system. So I don't see myself... Uh, doing something as extensive in the future. I I don't even plan to add any like NPCs to my next map. So not not really. Only S3 hmm. for witnesses, I swear to God. Yeah. We're, we're missing your, out we, What is your we're, we're missing event? out <laughs> Bro. We're missing out Josh's last question. I know, question, I'm just, I'm just is... prefacing the saying, I swear to God. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I was asking, should we ask them now? I was asking if we should ask them at all. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, <laughs> witness us, number two. <laughs> no. No, I'm not saying that. I'm good. Um, so, what gave you the idea behind the focus rifle? Uh, I guess this is not going to be a very interesting answer, but uh, it's pretty much inspired by, like, Mm, plasma or laser guns from like Fallout, really. Uh... Mm. All right, this singular question comes from witness, and we are not asking the rest. What is what's your favorite cosmetic in the game? Mm. Uh... Good question. Uh... And I really don't know how how to how to answer it. There's a lot of Cool cosmetics. Uh, I'm really proud of the skull bandana 
from what I made. I also really like the Obi. Uh, oh, man. Man. And uh, I do like the Bounty Hunter bundle. Really, really good bundle. Is you there know? a particular reason why you like the Bounty yeah. Hunter um, bundle? Mm. Is, 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 it, is, it maybe, is it maybe a shoulder piece? What? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'd rather not want to answer Worst the question. <laughs> Wait, the bounty hunter? Are we thinking about the same bounty I think, hunter? I think I, might be, I think I might be losing my mind. Hold I, on. I think you might be losing your mind. You I'm talking too. about the canyon arena. Oh, okay, okay. I, I got confused. Yeah, what were you thinking? Nothing, Which nothing, one nothing. were you on about? Nothing. <laughs> you can, if you know, you know. If you know what I was trying to reference, know, then you know. I don't Those know. Don't For the two people Nobody that are listening, you know. <laughs> How many times have you done this bit? A lot. Someone legit needs to go and count. Okay, so I guess this is the last question. Um, maybe this guy, um, Kukui Charles, he asked, "Are you happy?" Uh, yeah, I would say so. Yeah, I am. I am pretty happy. All right. He actually asked another question. All right. <laughs> oh ne all right next. <laughs> all right. This question from Neon says, "Opinion on big boobs," and he's on about the cat. The cat. Uh, the cat. Let me let me post the let me post the cat in guest chat. This cat. Let me see. Wait. Uh, I mean, it's a cat. You know, I don't know what to say. You don't know what to say. Yeah, uh, I've seen better cats. Okay. Damn. I have three cats of my own. Yeah, so. yeah. You, you know that it's, it's that that cat's birthday right now. Yeah, today yeah. is that cat's birthday. Hang on, let me. Let me bring out a picture I'm for good, proof. I'm good. Can you pull it up? <laughs> I'm not pull putting up. it on screen. <laughs> pull up, pull up this cat on screen. I will not pull it up. Pull up, up, pull up, this pull up the gift that I put in the chat. I'm not putting gifts in the editor. It will crash it my put editor. Put the gift in the it chat. It will literally crash my editor. <laughs> no, you need to put it. Okay, put I guess on. this is this is another question. Um, Renaxon, will you be participating in the unturned convention when it happens? Unturned convention. I mean, it's probably going to be held in, like, America, so I don't in see Portugal. myself doing that. Oh, in Portugal? Oh, 2024. Right, yeah, I will. Of course. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> there will be a helicopter ride and everything. <laughs> sure. Dude, would you actually attend an event? <laughs> would you actually attend, attend an actual event? I mean, uh, there already was one. No. Nah. No, there was. I mean, okay, there's there a count. There's a count, like a public event. Yeah, there, there was. Wait. Would you would you attend a, a an event relating to Unturned in Europe if it were to happen? Uh, uh maybe. Would like would it? Would you make it your goal to go to? Uh I guess. I guess if other, uh, if other uh, people would be coming there, like my friends, you know. Follow up. Them? Follow up. Question, follow up question. Would you let people know that you are Renaxon there? I mean, I mean, I think that's like, that would be like the whole point. Kind of, <laughs> you know? He's just some random fucking guy. <laughs> You're like, I saw the, I saw the sign. He walks. Body, please, please, Adahain, please. <laughs> he oh walks in, he has a massive sign on his head that says, not Renaxon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not. <laughs> not Renaxon. That's funny to think about because I, I thought about that question. Who would reveal themselves as who they are? Because I think there'd be some people that just won't say anything. <laughs> and, I, and I wonder Nelson how that would, would play. Sure. Nelson would be hiding his identity. Yeah, Nelson. Nelson would be afraid. I don't think he would. Uh, he would show himself <laughs> uh, due to the amount of bugs he had. I mean, Jasper might show up. Actually, we might see SDG Jasper, and that'd be kind of interesting as the person that you know fixes all the bugs that Nelson makes. But it's kind of like, thank God for Jasper, bro. Like for real, though. What, yeah. would we, what would we do without him? Unturned wouldn't exist. Yeah, if it wasn't for SDG Jasper. True. Sure. Right next on, what do you feel about SDG Jasper? Like, what's your relation with uh, him? Uh, haven't heard from him in a while, you know? You haven't? Haven't, haven't seen any new images. I'm, I'm being concerned. He, I think he's just, like, going underground for a little bit, you know? Just, you know, fixing the, the problems that Nelson's making recently, you know? Uh, yeah, there's a lot of problems. There is a lot. So, <laughs> a lot of a lot. Oh, 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 let's. Doug is typing. <laughs> Doug uh, is uh, typing. Bro is typing. Is Doug typing the questions? questions? 
He's Doug typing, is typing a question. question. Okay. You better tell him as to like make speak. it quick. As we speak. He only has like two minutes until the podcast expires. Just for I want to give a little <laughs> bit more context when it comes to questions. No, he stopped. There's about twelve questions in there that we didn't ask because I told I literally knew it, it was gonna happen that there were gonna be ridiculous questions in there. I mean, at least there were some decent ones, and I, I think asked, I covered like, some of them. I asked them before. Decently. Okay, <laughs> Renaxon's just a silly goose. He thought he thought that the Unturned podcast would give him actual good questions to like. No, I mean there was a couple actual ones. I I knew what was going to happen. Do you love the Unturned podcast questions chat then? Uh, I wouldn't say I love it. Would you say that it uh, was it was a a good thing? What do you think of the? <laughs> would you like to answer the the core the the first question asked after I announced that you would be the next guest. Would you like to answer that first question? <laughs> or the like, second question, yeah, actually? If you don't know uh, what we were talking about, go look at the Unturned Podcast, Podcast Discord, official Discord server. <laughs> which is in the description below. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's really great. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, I can answer uh, the third one. Felony count. Uh, zero. My my record is spotless. Let's, put that, let's make that officially. like a one. Let's make that a one when we meet. Um, <laughs> no, no, my record is. Spotless. No, right now, right now it is. You act like you're gonna just die now and then end with like a a felony record but, of zero. Like that's not gonna happen, right? All right, so not with not with me existing. One, for the last one, uh, I put the new four Gs on the Jeep, and uh, oh, <laughs> I think God. this is meant for you, Renaxon. Can you can you show us your voice acting skills? No, no, no. Could you Can recreate you at least the video? Say Dougie in a stupid voice. No, no, I can't. Why can't you say Dougie in a stupid voice? I think that he that would make his day. Wait, what? Did did Doug say that in the chat? Yes, Doug <laughs> asked that. Dougie, Dougie. <laughs> no, that that wasn't the doggy. usual Dougie, but like, oh. but like me and Doug have a have a good bit where like I just go Dougie, 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 and uh, it's it's a good bit. You should have been there to be honest. Okay. Well. Renaxon, is there any questions for us that you would like to ask before we end this episode? Uh, how many pool cue skins do you own? How many what? Pool cue skins. Oh, uh, like skins for the pool cue weapon. Like four. Okay. What about what about the other fellas, huh? I don't uh, think I own a single one, to be honest. Damn, you suck. Let me check. Um, I just don't. I put my collection in the game. chat. I believe I even have a mythical, by the way. That's not to flex or anything. I think I have a mythical. <laughs> <laughs> not to flex. <laughs> Bro, really? Let me check. This. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, 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 look. I'm gonna show you. It's one, one of its kind. Lucky coins, two. blue pool cue. Check it out. Check it Damn, out. I crafted it. Dude, you crafted that. Blue pool cue. That's crazy. Yeah. I like how it's just yeah. a fucking blue stick. <laughs> okay. Dude, Nelson making that model, he's sitting there like, yeah, this is it. <laughs> Some of the skins that exist is so funny to think about. It's like, yeah. Some of the items are funny. Yeah. Dude, what'd be the dumbest thing you could add skins for? Um mm. water bottle. I feel like okay. no, no, it it'd have to be like it'd have to be like a craft item oh, that you oh, can't even stick. equip, so it'd just be a skin in your the inventory. Actual stick, the actual stick. The actual stick. Yeah. Nice. That'd be kind of funny, I think. Is this the only question you want to ask us for next time before we end the episode? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we'll just end this episode here. Um, thanks, for everybody, for watching this episode and um, listening to Renaxon basically, you know, try to recall all the things from his decrepit mind that's been, you know, been kind of through the gutter challenge. for most of his years. Like, he kind of, it's kind of, like, very sad what's happened to Renaxon, really. Really has. Really has. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, you have nothing to say? I'm like, I'm like making fun of you. And you're over here like, just like sitting there just taking it. I'm like, why? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you think he's that. Not, you know? He's not giving you the satisfaction. I'm just, okay. The, the person that asked that really sussy question um, that, that Renaxon said skip to, I guess you got your answer by proxy there. <laughs> All right, everybody. What? You have a good one. <laughs> Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Yeah. We didn't ask about the velocity.